now, preview time. So let's take a look at what's coming your way.
What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another brand new installment of Renegades Reviews, exclusively here as always on the Casa D18 Studios channel. I, of course, am your host, the Renegade JJ Williams, and it's hump day today. We're going to take a look at our next to last movie that stars WWE Hall of Famers, and we're going to take a look at Wrong Side of Town. Starring the 2021 WWE Hall of Famer, Rob Van Dam, Laura Grice, Edric Brown, Ava Santana, Dave Batista, Jerry Katz, Ja Rule, Stormy Daniels, Nelson Frazier Jr., better known as Viscera, Omarion, and Brooke Frost. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for joining me here once again for another brand new installment of Renegades Reviews. As I send the introduction, today we're going to take a look at our next to last movie starring a WWE Hall of Famer, Wrong Side of Town, that stars Rob Van Dam. And our movie opens and we meet Nikki and Seth. Now, Nikki has snitched Seth out to the police. So Seth seeks revenge and offs Nikki. We then meet Bobby Kalinowski, his wife Dawn, and their daughter Brianna. And Brianna decides to fake that she's drowned in order to trick her parents. So, needless to say, they are unamused by her hashtag shenanigans. We then meet Clay Freeman, a new neighbor to the Kolonowskis, who invites Bobby and Don to dinner at a club, which is owned by one of Clay's clients. While at the club, the evening takes a turn for the worse when Bobby gets into a conflict with the co-club owner, Ethan, who is the brother of Seth, the other club owner. In the middle of the conflict, Ethan falls and is stabbed by his own knife. Now, the conflict is brought on by the fact that Ethan attempted to rape Bobby's wife, Dawn. Seeking revenge, Seth places a $100,000 bounty on Bobby's head. Also making matters difficult, Bobby is unable to receive help from the law as Seth has a corrupt police sergeant, as well as Clay, working for him. So now Bobby must survive while being hunted by criminals, corrupt law, and many others within the city. Now what Seth doesn't know is Bobby is a former Navy SEAL. So in order to protect his family, Bobby decides to separate himself from them and seeks out his former SEAL mate, Big Ronnie, or BR, for assistance. Feeling that BR owes him one because Bobby saved his life in battle, and BR initially refuses and contemplates taking the bounty for himself. However, BR ends up changing his mind and he helps Bobby. In retaliation, Seth targets and kidnaps Bobby's 16-year-old daughter, Brianna. At this point, the police sergeant, Briggs, questions Seth's mindset in going after Brianna. So Seth tells the truth. Ethan wasn't Seth's brother. He was his son. So since Bobby took his kid from him, he wants to return the loss. However, Bobby ends up fighting and killing Seth and his henchmen with BR's assistance, and he is able to save his daughter as our movie comes to its close. This was an interesting movie, and it was the second time that I've watched it. Originally, this was going to be on the docket last year when I was supposed to come back April 1st, do movies that star wrestlers, leading into WrestleMania. For my big return. However, things 
ended up going against me, had to move, relocate, didn't get to do it, had to go on the back burner. When I did come back in May of last year, started trying to plan things for this year's WrestleMania, Hall of Famer theme, still fit because RVD is a Hall of Famer, and yes, technically Batista was announced for the 2020 WWE Hall of Fame, and as of yet, hasn't had his induction ceremony. But regardless of Batista's role in this, this is RVD's movie. Batista's in like four scenes. So he's literally not a star in this, despite the promotional materials. So I watched it again so I could refresh myself. I had already taken notes on it for last year when I thought I was going to do it. Just needed to revisit it. And I enjoyed it the second time I watched it too. This is a good, and you've heard me use this term before, popcorn action flick. It's not a big budget film. Doesn't need a huge theatrical release. I think this was either straight to DVD or maybe even a made for TV cable type of thing. But it was good. It was solid. It was entertaining. The story was easy to follow. RVD is likable enough as Bobby. Um, The gentleman who plays Seth is good enough to be unlikable. Batista treads that line pretty well as BR. You know, the, the entire cast did their parts to, to the best that they could with everything considered. I thoroughly enjoy this film. It is a movie that I want to try to find on DVD, Blu-ray, whatever, add to my hard copy collection, because RVD's filmography isn't extensive, definitely nowhere near the caliber of Batista's. I don't even think it's near the caliber of Ja Rule's, if we're being really honest. And again, Ja Rule has like a scene in the movie. He's in the same scene that Viscera is in. He's one of the gangs that tries to stop Bobby and collect the bounty. As is Amarion. Amarion is a part of a different gang who tries to collect the bounty on Bobby. But I feel like this is kind of an underrated movie because of the fact that it's, you know, made for TV, straight to DVD, whatever the case was. The fact that it wasn't theatrical. And the fact that it's really not a Batista flick, it's an RVD flick. I feel like it kind of skates under the radar. When I had watched it the first time, I had put a rating down for it, what I thought I was going to give it star rating. I'm actually going to bump it up a little bit. Originally, I had pinned down to give this film three and a half out of five stars. I'm going to bump it up just slightly. My official rating for Wrong Side of Town is four out of five stars. I wasn't sure if on a repeat viewing I was going to enjoy this. And I did, just as much as I did originally, which is why I went ahead and bumped it up another half star. You guys hear me talk sometimes about how I give a rating for now, and if I continue to enjoy it under repeat viewings, it could potentially go up over time. Prime example right here. Uh, I'll even show you. I'll grab it here real quick. I don't know if you can see it that good, but it says three and a half stars in my notes. I'm officially giving this four stars. I think it's a good movie. I think it's something that people need to seek out, find, watch. I believe, if memory serves me correctly, it's free right now to watch on Vudu. It's usually on Tubi for free also. No excuse if the movie's free. Check it out. Let me know what you guys think. For those of you that have seen Wrong Side of Town, what did you think? Let me know. If you're watching the premiere, leave your thoughts and comments over here. If you're watching on demand later in the day, leave your thoughts and comments down here. Let's have that conversation, that discussion, that debate, that interaction that I'm always asking you guys for in the comments below. And make sure you guys tune in tomorrow right here to the Casa D18 Studios channel as we kick off another edition of Throwback Thursday.
episode number five of Talk Wrestling, a hearty conversation. No DQ and AV. Um, Stat Boy Rants, Renegade Wrestling, Dads on Wrestling, the Indie Force Podcast. Um, we're going to get the third episode, I believe, of Open Mic Night. The third episode of the ATW View. We've got so much good stuff in store for you for Throwback Thursday. And that isn't all. While Throwback Thursday is airing on the Casa D18 Studios channel, the Jeff Meacham Network, and across the Jeff Meacham Network multiverse of media, we begin our WrestleMania week coverage as we do multiverse united only the strong survive impact wrestling and new japan pro wrestling coming together 7 30 p.m pacific 10 30 p.m eastern the simple man noah foster the heeb man james hebert will both be on the call either myself or jeff will be in the studio producing not quite sure yet But either way, the first of like five or six live streams over the next few days of professional wrestling watch-along coverage. And then Friday, right back here on the Casa D18 Studios channel, it'll be time to wrap up movies that star WWE Hall of Famers right here on Renegades Reviews. As we take a look at Escape the Undertaker, starring Xavier Woods, Kofi Kingston, Big E, and the 2022 WWE Hall of Famer, the man himself, The Undertaker. You don't want to miss out on any of that content right here on the Casa D18 Studios channel, on the Jeff Meacham Network, across the Jeff Meacham Network, Multiverse of Media. Throwback Thursday, Multiverse United from Impact Wrestling and New Japan Pro Wrestling, and Escape the Undertaker. So much good stuff in store over the next few days. You don't want to miss out on any of it. So make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure that notification bell is turned on so you don't miss out any time a video drops right here on the Casa D18 Studios channel or anytime we go live. As is the case with Stat Boy Sports Bar, Open Mic Night, Pay Per View PLE coverage, etc., share these videos with your family, friends, loved ones, coworkers, movie fanatics, cinephiles in your life, fans of Rob Van Dam, fans of Dave Batista, fans of Viscera, fans of Omarion, fans of Ja Rule, fans of Stormy Daniels, fans of Action Flicks, fans of Made for TV and Straight to DVD movies. Anybody you can think of that would enjoy this content in this video, share it with them. It's the only way we're going to continue to keep my visibility up in YouTube's algorithms. Now that the Casa D18 Studios channel is finally a monetized channel. Thank you once again so much to everybody who tuned in and helped me to reach that milestone. It means so much more to me than you will ever know. And I will see you guys next time. We'll be right back. 